Hey, this is Gabe from ExoticWoodPen.com. In this video, we're going to be making the ebonite insert for the cap. And um, this is 2 and 7 eighths inch long. And this is going to be, uh, just like I said, for the inside, I faced one side here. Uh, this side isn't faced, it's just rough cut on the bandsaw. Normally, I would use... Uh, three inches but two and seven eighths because I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a little nub on one side uh, quarter works quarter inch by quarter inch diameter um, over here and I will explain that as we go uh, like I said this is 18 millimeter uh, normally uh, I like using 18 millimeter I have 16 millimeter but it's just not quite thick enough for the cap but I would be using um, the 16 millimeter for the body and for the section. So we're gonna put this in the in the lathe here. Uh, this is a three quarter inch right here, so I have to kind of take it off and kind of wedge, push it in there because it's it's very tight otherwise. And um, oops, the wrong way here. So that'll go in there. Then we're gonna drill this out with a half inch drill bit, a little over two inches deep. Actually, we're gonna be making that two and three eighths inches deep. I have a line marked right here on my drill bit. And then that's how deep we're gonna go. switching to a 3364 drill bit. Okay. All right, like we shared earlier, this cap is drilled out to 2 and 7 eighths. Now I have my little jig stick here um, don't have very good lighting set up for this but these are the don't have very good lighting set up for this but these are the two lines here I use for the cap and this is the lines for the body this is just a quarter inch dowel so this is two and three eighths of an inch from here to here and then when I put my finger there you can see that I'm on that line where it says the cap. So, and then if I measure that, about right, right there, about two and three eighths. So, uh, that is going to be the interior for the section threads, the section, and then the nib. And then I have a little bit of space left over for something else. And to break that down, this is a piece of ebonite cap that I did earlier that I cut in half so you can see how all that actually works. So let's, this is that uh, stick that I was showing you, the cap which is the depth that that's drilled out to two and three eighths of an inch. Okay, now this is my model template here that you can see how that's how that looks on the inside. And this is a profile of what I'm actually doing. And if we take a look at the body, how the body actually works, this connects like this once that is screwed in place. And if I put the section in, this is what it would look like when you normally see it inside like that. But inside the pen body looks like this. 
Now let's put that in there. And you can see what that looks like inside. So this could actually be drilled out a little bit deeper, about two and a half inches inside. Um, but because of that extra little tip on that drill bit, it affords me that a little extra room. So this is what we're going for in this video series. This is going to be the cap that we're making here like this. And then the body, which will, will be made just exactly like the cap, like what you see here. Uh, down the exterior dimension is going to be 27 64 This exterior dimension, which is, will be, um, so this exterior dimension is 19 30 seconds. So if you look at how I make a cap that is a tapered cap, this is what it would look like on the inside versus a straight cap. So I'm just trying to give you a couple of examples of how I do things. It could be totally different from how someone else does something, but sometimes it's easier for me to see it and know, know how my measurements are. If I do something like this and then I actually cut it in half, that way I don't have, there's no surprises on, on anything in the future. So with that, we'll go ahead and finish this cap here based on this profile because if you compare it this way we know uh, how big it is how much room I have to work with so I can start my lines here and work my way down to that little nub and then part off the part off what I don't need for the end cap So I hope you can appreciate what it takes to make something like this and then cut it in half just for illustration purposes and knowing I can't use it. But on the other side, I can use it as a tool for me for reference for later, like I did with the other piece I showed you. So I hope this sort of helps demystify what's involved in uh, custom pen turning or not custom pin turning, bespoke pin turning, you know, so it's not a kit, obviously. So I hope you can really, really appreciate that. So in the lathe, I have my homemade mandrel. I'll just screw that in place. And then I need to mark this 5 sixteenths of an inch over. If I look at my drawing of what I'm working with, this is what I'm what I've got here. This is the cap. Uh, this is three inches what I would normally work off of, but this, like I said, this is two and seven eighths. Uh, this is two and seven eighths. So I'm gonna make a line for three or five sixteenths of an inch. That's this right here. And then I'm gonna turn this down the outside diameter to 19 30 seconds. That's right here, outside diameter. And then um, we'll go ahead and go from there. Okay, turn that down off camera, otherwise it would be really long. So you can see this line, the lead line right there. That is the inside uh, depth of that, like what you see right here. So that's how that looks inside. And um, we're ready for the next step to do the body next. Okay, so to do the body part, the lower part, I'm starting off with a three inch long piece of ebonite. I've got it dimpled. This is 16 millimeter in diameter, switching to the four jaw chuck. And um, I'm gonna put this on the inside first so that we can face the front. 
turn this down to 14 millimeter like this and then we can run the die on that for the double start threads okay I just faced the front of that and then the threads we're gonna run the die even though this is the tap I'm basically using my calipers to measure the threads here so that I know what my dimensions are here so I'll just transfer that over and then I'm gonna do that by a half an inch which that is this hole here is 11 30 seconds and then this thread will, will uh, that's a section thread which I believe is uh, 10 by 0 0.75 millimeters so what I'll just do I'll just transfer this same mark here to there And then we'll turn this down to the 14 millimeters. Pretty simple. Okay, I'm using my, this is the 14 millimeter double start die, and my floating tailstock for that. Let me put a little uh, oil on there. And I've said before in the past how much I like using ebonite versus acrylic. Sometimes acrylic will just shatter on you when you do that right there. And acrylic just cuts so much better. And then we'll drill this out and tap that out with a 10 millimeter, 10 by 0 0.75. So this is an 11 30 seconds drill bit. And one of the things that I for just forgot to do was measure the depth of how deep that that's going to be going inside. I don't want it to drill all the way through in case this wants to be used as an eyedropper for later so so I don't want to drill all the way through I want to stop just short of that um, this is my previous mark which is an old mark so I want to get rid of that I'm going to stop about there here is my mark on the drill bit and if I run that up against my section, I can see that that is as deep as I need it to go, as far as the hole drilling goes. So in here, you can see that that's plenty of room on the end. And if I run this here like this, you can see you can see uh, what that looks like on the inside of that bit so that gives me plenty of room on the inside without having to pierce the bottom right there that's the beauty of making something like this so you have it as a reference to work off of you can really see what everything is going on on the inside Okay, so now before we remove this out, this is a 10 by 0 0.75 section tap. Okay, so one of the things that I also like to do before I take this off right here 
I'm just going to clean up this back edge all the way against the threads. And then a little on the inside right here. So that helps that section seat. And a little right there. Now that should help start that a lot easier. Yep. Nice. Okay, so this is what we got so far. We'll just go ahead and check this back up. Okay, let's take a look at what we're doing here. We already made the thread section here and drilled this out to three inches deep. Um, we just need to turn this down to an outside diameter of 2764 next. So from here down to, will be outside diameter of 2764. Okay, I have my caliper set for 2764. And we'll go ahead and start turning it down. Okay, we got that turned down. It took a little longer than expected, so I did that off camera, finished it up obviously. And we can go ahead and unscrew that and see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. So this is the top part we made earlier. This is the bottom we just finished. And that's what that basically looks like. It's a little tight still. Um, I have to lubricate those threads a little. But you can see what that looks like. And I gotta clean the inside out. That's still pretty dirty. But that is pretty much it. So if we screw this in here for the section, Okay, now I'll screw in our cap. It's really tight, but, well, there is a pin. So just by making these two components here, um, you can uh, pretty much put whatever you want on the exterior of this, however you want to make a pen. And that is the beauty of uh, bespoke pen turning or custom pen turning. I like the term bespoke because everything is completely homemade. Custom, in my opinion, means you're modifying something like a kit. So that would be customizing something, taking something that already um, exists and modifying it. So. 
that would be, in my opinion, custom. That's why I refer to it as bespoke, because everything is bespoke. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Gabriel Castro. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. You can click on the link right here and subscribe. You can watch a video series right here or the latest video right here.